The structure of an aluminium atom is shown in this figure. A definite amount of energy is required to remove the electron from its orbit. The energy required to remove the electron from the first orbit is much more as compared to the energy required to remove the electron from the outer orbit. This is due to the fact that the force of attraction excreted by nucleus on electrons in the first orbit is much more as compared to the force of attraction excreted on electrons of outer orbit. Similarly, the energy required to remove the electron from the second orbit will be less as compared to the first orbit and greater than the third orbit. Hence, we can say that the electrons in the orbit are associated with a definite amount of energy. Thus, the orbits or shells are also referred to as energy levels. The energy levels are denoted by the letters K, L, M, N, etc., where K is the nearest orbit to the nucleus and having the lowest energy level. Conversely, the outermost orbit is having the highest energy level. The maximum number of electrons in any energy level is given by 2n to the power 2, where n is an integer and represents the principal quantum number. For different energy levels, the value of n and maximum number of electrons is as given in this table. Here, for energy level k, the principal quantum number is 1, and the maximum number of electrons in the shell is 2 into 1 to the power 2, that is 2. For energy level L, the principal quantum number is 2, and the maximum number of electrons in the shell is 2 into 2 to the power 2, that is 8. For energy level M, the principal quantum number is 3, and the maximum number of electrons in the shell is 2 into 3 to the power 2, that is 18. For energy level N, the principal quantum number is 4, and maximum number of electrons in the shell is 2 into 4 to the power 2, that is 32, and so on. The above formula 2 into n to the power 2, used for determining the maximum number of electrons in any shell, has some limitations. The number of electrons in outermost shell, that is highest energy level, cannot exceed 8. For example, let's consider the atom of calcium. It is having 20 electrons orbiting around its nucleus. As per formula of above rule, that is 2 into n to the power 2, the electrons distribution will be as 2 into 1 to the power 2, that is 2 electrons in k level, 2 into 2 to the power 2, that is 8 electrons in l level, and there will be balanced 10 electrons. But the electrons in outermost energy level cannot exceed 8. Hence, there will be 8 electrons in M level and balanced 2 electrons will go to next energy level. That is, 2 electrons will go to the N level. The electron configuration of calcium atom is shown in this figure. The electrons in outermost energy level are called valence electrons. The maximum possible number of valence electron is 8. If the number of electrons in outermost orbit is 8, the atom becomes stable. The material, whose atoms naturally have 8 electrons in the outermost shell, do not react with other material, such as inert gases, helium, neon, argon, krypton, etc. These have completely filled outermost shells and do not react with other materials. The valence electrons of an atom are loosely bound with the nucleus and can be freed or removed by a different method, that is by heating, by applying electrical voltage, etc. The valence electrons form the bonds to hold the atoms of material together. Most of the properties of materials are determined by these bonds in materials. Each of the main shell or so-called energy level is further subdivided into different subshells. These subshells are called orbital.
These subshells or orbital are designated by English letters S, P, D, F, etc. with corresponding quantum number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. These subshell quantum numbers are denoted by small English letter L. The number of subshells existing in any main shell is equal to principal quantum number N. The electron capacity of any main shell can be determined by adding the electron capacity of subshells. The maximum electron capacity of subshells is governed formula The capacities of subshells are given in this table. Here the subshell S has quantum number 0. Hence, electron capacity of the subshell is 2 into within bracket 2 into 0 plus 1, that is 2. The subshell P has quantum number 1. Hence, electron capacity of the subshell is 2 into within bracket 2 into 1 plus 1, that is 6. The subshell D has quantum number 2. Hence, electron capacity of the subshell is 2 into within bracket 2 into 2 plus 1, that is 10. The subshell F has quantum number 3. Hence, electron capacity of the subshell is 2 into within bracket 2 into 3 plus 1, that is 14.